one of the best love shows on the telly and uh, we're bringing it live here tonight. So you don't need to be in sunny Benny, Joe. You just need to be here with your Manchester. Do you know, and I challenge anybody these days to think about Benidorm without thinking about our first guest. I know. Hey, I tell you, now this man is responsible literally for inventing and sort of reinvigorating a whole lost culture of holiday makers. Don't He's you think? an absolute comedy genius. And I don't <laughs> think that is kind of, um, you know, putting anything on there. No, I don't at all. I don't. Um, and, and he's here tonight, everybody, all the way from Benidorm. Please welcome to our lovely little world, the one and only Mr. Darren Litton. <laughs> Whereabouts in Benidorm are you? Well, Belinda, I'm about 10 minutes away from Benidorm. I can't actually live in Benidorm because I'd be pulled out of the gutter every um, uh, half an hour. Uh, but here, I know I look like I'm about to face a firing squad, but I'm just in the sort of the breakfast area and, and near the back of my house, about oh, say about 10, 15 minutes away from Benidorm. I thought you were going to say the breakfast area of the Solana then. <laughs> no, I think it's shut at the moment. <laughs> All so the have you been in, in that area since lockdown then? Have you been there all yeah. this time? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I knew that um, I took on this bar, as I'm sure I It didn't take me long to mention that, did it? <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> um, and um, Mateo's bar in Benidorm. And um, about a week into it, or a couple of weeks into it, this lockdown was announced. And I think, as you all know, it was it was like, is this a joke? Is it going to last a couple of weeks? Is it what's going to happen? As it became quite clear that this was going to be for, you know, several weeks, if not several months, um, I kind of made the decision to stay here um, because I knew I wouldn't be able to go. And I, I'm glad I did because it's uh, lovely. Yeah, not a bad place to have a lockdown in, I imagine, Darren. It's really lovely. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's been difficult for everybody, obviously, but, um, you know, I, uh, and, and also I've got friends here in Benidorm. My, one of my best mates just moved into a, a flat with no um, balcony. And she was like, well, that's going to be okay because, it, you know, it's summer's around the corner and we'll be out all the time. And she's like, you know, a minute and a half from the beach and stuff. And then she spent, you know, two months locked up in her flat going crazy. So, you know, we've got a bit of space outside. I'm very, very, very lucky to be here. So this bar in Benidorm called Mateo's, named after one of your inventions, a character, um, <laughs> played by um, played by Jake Jake Canuso. Yes, there you go. Thank you. That would have been embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, what do we? What do people expect to see in there? Is is there anything of your Benidorm program in that bar with you? There's basically everything that I stole. I, I mean, excuse me, everything that um, <laughs> I was <laughs> left over after the ten series of Benidorm. There was a huge, um, uh, what would it be, like an underbuild, sort of, well, like a big car park, really, uh, but underneath this big building, which was our production company. And um, I got a phone call to say, oh, everything's been thrown out tomorrow. And I was in London, and I said, okay, no worries. I'm jumping on a flight now. And I whizzed up to um, Stansted and got on a flight, and um, I basically took everything. <laughs> I think, they, I think somebody was trying to do the dirty on me and sort of go like, oh, sorry, we just found out today. But um, I headed them off at the pass, as they say. So I've got everything. Well, I did have everything in a big storage unit uh, just outside Benidorm, but most of it's now in this bar. Well, I think you more than deserved it. And this must be an actual dream for any fan of Benidorm. You're surely going to have them flock in there. I think, well, well, eventually, I think, you know, there's there's still some issues with, I heard today that um, I think the Scottish can't uh, fly to Benidorm, but they can fly to Australia, oddly enough, which is Melbourne has just been locked down again. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to get into a political rant. Um, but yeah, it's basically with the planet Hollywood of, of Benidorm. Um, you, you come in and you're there's the huge Neptune sign and you turn a corner and there's Mel's thong um, up on a, a little uh, podium. Then you turn another corner and there's the uh, blow and go and there's Joyce Temple Savage's office door, which is the toilet. Um, so if anybody wants to go in there, we say you have to wait Joyce is firing off a firing off a global. Um, then we go to the bar itself, and the bar itself is the we've recreated the reception uh, from the Solana. And we've do you know what we've um, 
the the if people come to the bar and they say if they and people a few people have sneaked in had a little preview and they've said my god it looks amazing the reason it looks amazing is because the lockdown took longer we were supposed to open on april the 10th the lockdown took longer and longer and longer and i spent more and more and more money <laughs> so but you know what's it for if not for spending it sounds like an instagrammer's dream you're just going to get people taking selfies and pictures all over it the does. place I yeah. suppose your biggest choice for people would have been for you to call it neptunes what made you go for mateos rather than neptunes i think basically um uh, what i wanted to do i wanted it to name name it after one of the characters mainly because they can't copyright people's names <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is the uh, legal uh, side of the story. Basically, everything in the show is, um, uh, you know, from the, the series. So you've got the big original, and, every, and everything's original. We've not recreated anything. It's all the original props and stuff. Uh, so you've got, um, you know, I could have called it the Solanas, uh, the Solana, or you know, Neptunes, or you know, whatever. But. I think to be to be slightly different in all seriousness, um, Mateo is one of my favourite characters, and also it's a Spanish name, and we are in Spain. Some people forget that Benidorm is actually in Spain. It's easy to forget, yeah. actually, in some uh, parts of Benidorm. But uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's turned out all right, and we've got a great sort of caricature of um, uh, Mateo outside the bar, all lit up, and it looks very exciting. So, Darren. What's happened to these characters then? Are they coming back to the TV? Are they coming back to the theatre? I think the last time we saw them was at the theatre, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah. Are they yeah, coming well, back? Uh, it's a really difficult question because literally just before I flew out here to start work on the bar, I and this is a bit of an exclusive for your mantra, uh, <laughs> I was in talks to do another um, live show. Uh, I know you enjoyed the live show, uh, Belinda, when you um, I came here. it. Yeah. Um, and now, because we did the theatre show, I, I had an idea to do something very different. I thought, I don't want to do the same show again, uh, or even the same type of show again. So I kind of had an idea of this sort of like, we used to do these um, charity concerts uh, every year when we were filming. We took um, a big um, uh, bar, or I think it was in the, it was a, like a huge bar underneath a, a hotel. And all of the cast did karaoke for like, two hours, which doesn't sound very exciting, but if you're there and you're watching, it's a bit like being in Disneyland and watching Mickey Mouse get up and do a number and then goofy. <laughs> and, uh, and so um, that was so popular. And I thought, my God, if I could do something that's sort of like half concert, half yeah. show, and just a new sort of experience really. And we yeah. were literally talking about that uh, to a big um, uh, producer and, um, all of a sudden, this thing of lockdown was... Uh, no, it wasn't lockdown. It was just about this virus, and, and, and then the, the meeting was cancelled. And I thought, oh, they're being a bit, you know, officious, or a bit, a bit overzealous. This is... Nothing's going to come of this. And then very happily trotted off to Spain. Thought, oh, forget it then, you know. And then... I think we definitely do with a live show after all this pandemic. We oh, need to gosh, laugh yeah. more. We, re we do so. need to laugh more. I've had a lot of... Um, uh, feedback from uh, they're repeating a series of it on ITV now yeah. and I've had huge amount of feedback so I think the audience is there and I think that I think they'd come so if the audience is there then Darren why did it stop um the honest answer to that I think is um ITV seemed to want to go in a sort of different direction they they had a lot of trouble with comedy trying to make comedy um uh, you know apart from benadorm and then a decision i think was made to sort of say right we're not going to do comedy if we if we can't do it we're not going to do it so let's cancel the whole which wasn't great for the head of comedy <laughs> she wasn't too pleased but um i think they were concentrating on comedy on itv2 that was going to be their sort of um outlet for comedy and then and then they they uh ended but you know after 10 years a show doesn't really get cancelled after 10 years a show gets cancelled after one series but like my show scarborough on the uh, bbc one um <laughs> but, uh, but 10 years no it just sort of comes to a close i wish we had been told before that's all because i'd have done a proper ending you know um so 
I don't know, but you know, everything is people appreciate things when they're gone, basically. Mm -hmm. And there's there's been a couple of an oh, how can I put it? There's been some interest in the show. I'll just put it that way. Not not from ITV as such, but um, production companies are sort of asking, and I can't say much more than that. But um, oh. but I'm literally I'm fully head first into this bar for at least a year. So don't you know nothing's going to happen for a while. Well, if wet our appetite with a bar, you're going to have to tell us when does it open. Right. Well, we open. Uh, when do we open? What day is it today? I don't even know what month it is. Um, <laughs> July. We're in the yeah. right month. Yeah. July oh, wow. the 17th. So I think that's a week Friday. Thing. Okay, well, we'll be flying out for that then. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I, don't know, I think we should. I think there's a, we should do a show from there when we get back to normality. Now, there's an idea. I'm actually doing, I, I sporadically, I did this, um, I did a quiz on, um, a Benidorm quiz on, I'm not very good with Facebook, um, but we have a page for Mateo's Benidorm, and we did a quiz for five or six weeks and then we stopped because with the the bar work got too busy the the um you know doing the bar and then we're doing one last quiz on tuesday uh, live from mateo's and can uh, anyone join yeah. in then if they go to the facebook page yeah I, do you know what it's karen my manageress who uh, is brilliant on all that i haven't got a clue i'm not on facebook so i've just got like a sneaky login of, and it's not even my name. It's all very sort of FBI, sort of Pentagon uh, stuff. Um, but yes, please uh, look for Mateo's Benidorm. Have a look. There's information on there already about the uh, the last, the very last online quiz on Tuesday. And Brilliant. Darren, just before you go, um, Mateo, if he be a real person, where would he <laughs> fully be, and what would he fully be doing now? Well, now I think he'd probably be getting ready for bed. I suppose he'd have probably a terry towel in dressing and that's what i'm doing a french and Fonda sketch now, aren't i um <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you where he will be i'll tell you where he will be this is another exclusive because we said we were gonna have a soft opening i don't know if you know what that is belinda um, <laughs> but we've decided to go fairly hard <laughs> oh god um oh. i can reveal now to you exclusively that on the day of our opening uh jake canuso will be uh at the bar so oh. that's quite i mean what would you oh. need from an interview with mr darren Lutton? oh my hey. gosh two exclusives <laughs> i am made up i suppose we should let you get back to it really because uh i don't know if you're aware but tonight i'm going to be sampling a lot of gins oh well, you see, I was I was trying to be a bit camp with my with my Vimto. I've not. Yeah. Seen, I don't like wine, but I thought I'd put it in a wine glass. Is oh. that not sangria? I thought it was sangria then. Yeah, it should yeah. be. But look, I know you're not allowed to advertise, but it's Vimto. Hey, <laughs> that's branded. Hey then. Um. So, well, thank you very much, Darren, for um, absolutely being fantastic and uh, sharing your stories with us. And I want to go over there. I know. Good luck with it on the seventeenth. It's going to be a smash here. I can tell. Thank you, and I'll reserve you both um, your uh, your Madge cocktail, the Madge, which is so strong, you need a mobility scooter to get yourself home. 